AP State Skill Development Corporation in an attempt to uh, get students to learn about uh, some of these latest advancement technology and then to understand how to use uh, AWS, how to deploy applications on AWS and then how to manage uh, existing applications. Okay. Uh, before that, uh, how many members are present? If you can just let me know. What would what is the total number of attendees? So individual attendees are how many and uh, group attendees? Okay, so total number of attendees, please let me know. I can see 11 people who have logged in. So out of 11, how many are uh, any group attendees or all of you are individual? Okay, individual attendees, right. So did all of you create your Amazon accounts using APSSDC domain? Did you register onto AWS Educate as an educator? So six members are present. So all of you, did you register as an AWS educator on AWS Educate website. Okay. Right. Uh, let me give you a brief uh, overview of this entire program. So basically, Andhra Pradesh State Skill Development Corporation it has tied up with AWS, uh, AWS Educate Wing, basically. So AWS Educate is the education division of Amazon, which uh, is working on building online resources, providing uh, content, providing training, and also certification to students to understand some of its cloud-based technologies and to promote uh, the entire platform as a whole okay uh, this is a very basic presentation that we would like to walk you through before we get into the actual training uh, as i can see only six members are present but we we are actually expecting more people so at least uh, i was told 40 to 50 minimum attendees are needed so that we can form a single batch uh, for training and they can work on uh, getting certified. So basically, I think how many of you know what cloud computing is? All of you are aware of cloud, cloud computing, cloud development. You have worked on any of these, anyone has any experience in Cloud computing. So 
So did you work on any cloud platform or anyone from these six members who are present? Uh, it was a question actually did any one of you work on cloud computing before or is it a new concept okay only two people have responded what about others Okay, that's fine. So let me just walk you through some of these basics of cloud. Uh, I was told that all of you have already worked uh, on a little bit of hardware configuration and basic environment setup in different labs and colleges. So the next step for you in order to grow uh, in your career would be to get into cloud development uh, so that uh, you will get a chance to manage resources remotely instead of configuring and managing resources that are physically available to you we will slowly shift focus to managing resources which are not with us and which are somewhere else and how do you manage them remotely basically that is what we will be talking about in this uh, entire course. So AWS has set up a definition of cloud computing, uh, which is basically on-demand delivery of uh, infrastructure, uh, which is given on a pay-as-you-go mechanism. So based on the requirement, we pay for the corresponding resources on the cloud and Amazon uh, or AWS makes it available for a particular duration based on the pricing. Okay, it is a very simple definition when compared to the conventional definition that we have of cloud. So conventional definition here is on the left side. So it is a very big definition which is not needed. Uh, Amazon has made it made it a, in uh, a single made it as a single line uh, or a very simple definition so when you see this image you understand from this so if you see here on the left hand side what we know of Amazon is that it is an e-commerce website or it is an e-commerce platform wherein uh, customers can buy products from different uh, merchants or providers and how did that lead to cloud compute that Amazon is also in so how did Amazon uh, expand its operations just from an e-commerce platform to a cloud computing uh, very advanced I think right now Amazon is the most platform for uh, cloud based computing and resources it is even ahead of Google and uh, Microsoft when it comes to cloud. So how did it, how was it able to expand from the conventional e-commerce uh, domain to an entirely new and uh, important IT domain called cloud? So how did this uh, expansion actually happen? Does anyone know how it happened? Even now, Amazon is still a very is is the biggest e-commerce uh, platform, but it has also it is also the biggest cloud services and cloud computing platform in the world. So, how did it become? How did it get to cloud computing from e-commerce? Does anyone know the answer to this? 
if you understand this then it will be easy for you to appreciate this entire uh, domain of cloud basically so anyone has any idea or any suggestion on how amazon expanded from an e-commerce website to a cloud platform okay so any guess or anything that, that you have that you can think of what made amazon to get into cloud computing basically so it is it is a very simple question actually so how can you relate e-commerce to cloud if you understand that uh, you will be able to understand and appreciate this particular uh, expansion of Amazon. No idea? okay so let me tell you how it was done basically when amazon was in commerce they they had to manage uh, their entire uh, the products that they were trying to ship to different customers so they need they needed uh, very advanced uh, you know information systems which could track uh, the entire uh, life cycle of a product right from when the product uh, is 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 received from a merchant uh, to the point wherein it is delivered to the customer and when you have uh, you know a wide range of products from different domains and uh, you know you you need to manage so much that is one thing the second one is that you need to automate uh, the entire process so a user should be able to choose the product that they want to buy on the platform uh, on their website and place an order online so when this is done how how, how does that order get uh, processed and how how does it finally how does the product finally receive uh, i mean end up uh, as uh, you know is delivered to the customer so all this is an entire life cycle and to perform all these operations and to build such a kind of advanced information system uh, amazon you know set up its its data center basically the data center is a huge uh, location wherein you have uh, you know large storage uh, options and uh, you know basically to store huge amounts of data and in order to cater to the large demand that customers had so amazon had to build uh, these big data centers you know to manage so much of traffic uh, on the network and to make sure that their platform doesn't crash and uh, it keeps uh, uh, providing services to all its customers but the problem was that uh, they they had they actually built a huge data centers to manage so much of traffic but the problem was that they uh, these data centers were not fully operational because uh, the e-commerce websites generally they have uh, you know high traffic only during certain uh, periods in that in a particular year like for example some kind of festival season 
or some kind of sale or something whenever something is available only then the traffic will be more because a lot of orders will be there and whenever there is nothing of that sort uh, generally the traffic is low so they had to scale up uh, their operations during a particular time and scale down the operations during the time when the demand was low but the problem was that infrastructure physical hardware infrastructure cannot we cannot scale up hardware directly you need to have physical machines available so they had to build these big data centers which could cater to maximum demand and then during the times when demand was low whenever it is some kind of whenever there is no festival or something there is no sale and whenever demand is low uh, then they didn't know what to do with the so much of infrastructure basically so it was then that they thought of outsourcing or giving access to clients or giving access to other it or software companies to use this infrastructure on a pay per use basis so based on whatever they use or how much ever they use those it companies or uh, software firms should pay that is how they were able to utilize this hardware not only for their e-commerce requirements but also for uh, you know leasing out the same hardware uh, on a pay per use kind of a basis okay so with that kind of intention uh, aws actually got to cloud and after that it expanded so much that uh, it, it started building services uh, different kinds of products different kinds of uh, uh, applications uh, on its own platform that it has become so easy for uh, other customers of amazon to use these uh, pre built and pre deployed applications for their own internal operations and uh, work okay and uh, after amazon started giving out its hardware in the form of cloud resources to its clients uh, it was able to get a very a big list of clients who actually needed these kinds of support services for their own internal operations so if you see some of the big names in the world today actually use aws for their own uh, operations so netflix is a big name here you have nasa so slack is another thing that's doing quite well these days Uh, all these are just some of the clients there are millions of customers and uh, some thousands of clients that amazon has as of today expedia is another uh, very uh, uh, innovative uh, company basically for travel planning and management uh, and uh, it is also part of one of amazon's customers so aws is growing at a dramatic rate so as you can see its, uh, its turnover is something around uh, 16 billion dollars so that's like one of the highest in the world uh, and what is in it for developers and uh, you know engineers and technical people what is in it for people who already are graduates how can they use this platform to you know get certified basically so the the main motive behind this platform is that it has millions of jobs cloud the entire cloud scenario itself has millions of jobs in it and the cloud computing as you can see is the number one uh, linkedin skill and uh, there are three different pathways three different career paths that you can think when it comes to aws one is a developer pathway one is an architect pathways solutions architect pathway 
one is a system uh, operations administrator pathway okay so three different pathways and uh, we will be we will not look into solutions architect pathway as of this particular training uh, we are only considering cloud developer and system ops or operations administrator two different pathways and out of these two also we will narrow it down to just one based on uh, your interest and based on the time that we have uh, we will be either selecting uh, the cloud developer pathway or operations administrator pathway okay and uh, so some of the demands that we have for these jobs so there are a lot of jobs basically amazon's customers themselves need a lot of people who are trained on uh, aws now the thing that all of you uh, need to understand is that all of you will be considered as trainers you will be going to colleges and you should be able to teach or train students on aws once you your certification once you become an associate uh, developer, cloud developer or an associate system ops uh, administrator on uh, on aws you should be able to go to colleges and train students on the same uh, platform whatever uh, you have learned you should be able to teach and train uh, the students and get the students certified so our final objective is to make sure that students are certified so that amazon has a separate job portal and once they are certified they directly get access to some of these uh, high-end jobs that are available on amazon's uh, job portal so that that will that is our, our final outcome or objective and we will be working uh, in that direction to make sure that we get as many certifications as possible as part of this particular uh, initiative okay so this is some of the uh, other generic information so all of you might be aware of uh, aware that we are right now in our fourth industrial revolution uh, the first one started off with mechanization second one uh, mostly was about assembly line and mass production automating mechanization introduction of the computer era and then the internet fourth uh, industrial revolution is only about cloud iot so that is right now we are right now in the fourth revolution and unless you have an expertise in these domains either cloud or iot or machine learning or even robotics uh, only then you will be able to sustain in the current uh, industrial scenario so this platform aws targets the cloud aspect the cloud uh, part of the revolution though it also has support for iot and machine learning as well the platform is quite big it supports all these other uh, advanced the team being as as part of this particular training program we will only uh, focus on cloud development so aws it it is so advanced that new services are continuously added every year compared to last year this year there are around uh, 300 new services were added as you can see so and that keeps increasing as technology and automation uh, thrive uh, the number of services that you know automate uh, will definitely uh, will, will be they will keep coming so we should be able to learn and this change and adapt to uh, this kind of uh, fast uh, this kind of breathtaking pace basically
okay so not to scare all of you but mckinsey released a statement saying that you know massive skill gap is only going to get worse because the current education system uh, is actually broken though we are doing our best to fill in that gap the gap is widening uh, at a much and these are some of the attempts that we tend to make to make sure that we are able to bridge that gap between industry and our current uh, education system is everyone following any questions is everyone able to follow Okay. So I will not get into these uh, work uh, or uh, you know how the system actually works. Uh, but let us get to for the role of uh, ap state skill development uh, and the collaboration that it has uh, amazon so as i already told you aws educate is the education wing of aws which mostly focuses on giving resources cloud resources cloud related training and cloud related certification on aws directly to students educators as well as institutions so there are different roles uh, we will only talk about two different roles one is the educator role all of you are supposed to be educators so you will be the trainers who go to students and train so that is why i think all of you have registered as an educator on aws whenever you go and train students students will register as a student as long as they are in some institution they will be given student access or student role and the related uh, cloud resources also will be given so educator will get more resources i think 200 dollar worth of resources will be given to you students will be getting around 75 dollars worth of resources okay so aws educate what is what does it do basically so as you can see here it grants uh, free access to the entire aws platform everything is open source content and uh, professional development for educators so students will be getting direct access to the entire platform and even for educators it will be helpful in building their uh, profile basically and eventually all this will lead to jobs so a very basic uh, path that you will that every student will follow on this aws educate platform first one i think all of you have already done creating a profile then you will be choosing your career pathway so the, as i already told you there are three different pathways one is the architect solution architect pathway one is a developer pathway and the third one is an operations engineer uh, pathway so out of these three based on which uh, domain you select uh, your entire journey will depend so then after selecting the pathway you can personalize your plan because there are some specialized uh certifications at an associate level at a professional level and also at uh, an advanced level after professional you also have some more high end advanced things like big data and other things uh, which are also linked to these specific pathways and once you personalize your plan you can learn 
these you can start learning these cloud skills because all of these are already on the platform you just have to enroll into a specific skill learn each skill and then proceed you will be tested on the skills that you have learned and for each skill you will have a separate test and once you clear the test you will be given a badge for each skill there is a separate badge that will be given and you need to earn these badges by clearing the test and as you keep getting more and more badges you will be getting closer to this entire job role either a developer cloud developer or cloud systems engineer or a solutions architect each of these pathways has a different set of badges that you need to acquire as you keep acquiring badges you can update your file on linkedin this will all these badges will be can be linked to your linkedin profile and as you keep acquiring badges you will also be eligible to more and more jobs on the platform as you clear more skills and get more badges more job roles will be open to you on the platform okay initial introduction level skills there are very basic jobs but as you keep getting more and more skills and badges more uh, high end jobs will be uh, i mean you will be given access to more uh, advanced jobs and then once you select any of these jobs you can immediately think of starting a career so this is the path that we will be showing a student in a college and the student has to work their way through this entire path to finally pursue a career in a cloud development okay so career pathways that i was talking about there are four actually uh, the first one I, i was only talking about three pathways because i don't want to get into nlx and big data uh, that is more for uh, programmers who have a few years of experience in programming and development so we don't want to take this to students directly we want to focus only on the the green color pathway operations and support engineering and the orange color the right side bottom software development engineer so we don't want first two pathways analytics big data and cloud architect we don't want them because they are for more experienced uh, industry professionals they are not for freshers so for at a beginner level we will only focus on options and support engineering and software development engineering okay this is for a developer or cloud application development and operations is for system administration administration and application development these are the two pathways that we will be talking about and out of these two uh, i will kind of finalize only one based on uh, your skill set we will have a formal review and after that any one of these two things will be finalized and the same thing has to be uh, covered even for students okay so some of these big uh, Uh, universities that are also taking entire uh, aws uh, educate platform we have some big names uh, uh, the, the most important name here is uh, carnegie mellon university which is which has adopted aws educate into its curriculum most of these other things are from uh, singapore and malaysia ICT is also doing something related to this but skill development has taken a better uh, approach towards uh, this initiative okay so this is the basic presentation 
let me quickly shift to the certification part of it. If you observe the screen here, uh, there are three different uh, domains or three different levels basically foundation level, associate uh, level, and professional level. Okay, and we will be starting our journey from the AWS certified cloud practitioner foundation level certification. Okay, so AWS certified cloud practitioner. So cloud practitioner is mostly about understanding the AWS console, uh, you know, creating instances, deploying applications on an instance, managing the resources of on that instance, you know, basic load balancing, basic scaling, you know, uh, configuring instances on the cloud, basically remote management, remote management of systems only using the console. Uh, basic security uh, and access management also will be covered. So all this is only on the browser because it is a basic uh, system, uh, uh, an administration kind of a, a role. Everything will be done only using the web browser and AWS console. So we will not get into the command line interface initially. So once all of you are comfortable with using the AWS console uh, on the web browser, we will then move to the associate level uh, certification, which is a, a, an, an AWS certified developer uh, certification or an AWS certified system operations administrator. That will be the associate level certification. And after that, uh, the final objective is to get into a professional level. Professional is actually self uh learning uh, initiative so we will not be training students for a professional level certification we will be stopping our training at the associate level only once they get this associate level certification a lot of job uh, opportunities will be given to students on the job portal and they can uh, you know opt for any of those uh, options or job roles okay so our journey will stop at associate level certification the, the current phase that we are uh, getting into professional level we will look into this later okay so the current training program is aimed towards getting all of you as well as
What about now? Please send a message immediately when you think that it is audible. Okay. So that so this was a very basic presentation on AWS. Uh, now that all of you have an idea about this entire journey that you need to take in order to get uh, to an associate level uh, developer. So how many of you are interested and are ready to you know, take up this certification? So a minimum effort of three to four hours per day is needed. Uh, I know that some of you are engaged with some other uh, you know trainings and all that are happening at least three to four hours of effort is needed per day so that we can uh, complete this certification in in the next 15 days to at most one month for a cloud developer job role i think around 50 skills are needed so you should be able to earn 50 different badges. Each badge corresponds to a specific skill. And once you get all these badges, you will be awarded the associate level certification. So how many of you are ready, ready to take this up out of the six uh, trainers who are... Okay, so two people are interested. What about others? Other four? Three. So please don't think of this uh, just uh, as a training module. It is also helpful for you to advance your career. Since all of you already have some experience in basic uh, hardware configuration, environment setup, uh, and the basic operation operating system concepts. Uh, the next you should always think about getting to the next level so this is a good opportunity for all of you to certify and you know also help students in getting certified so that should be your objective okay so i'm expecting that more uh, uh, trainers join this pool uh, i will be giving a, a schedule to you and from tomorrow we can fix a, a time slot. I will be discussing this and once the time slot is fixed, uh, at least for two hours one, uh, per day or three hours per day, you should be able to work. And you know, as soon as possible, you should be able to complete the certification. Okay, so with this time, I would like to close the session. Any other doubts, please let me know. Any more questions from your end? So which module we will mostly go for cloud developer? I was thinking of system operations engineer, but uh, mostly it will be cloud developer only. Uh, let's see, we will have an internal discussion once again and we will fix that. But for the time being, all of you should have an educator account on AWS so that you will get access to all these $200 resources so that those resources will help you in in order to work on the labs or the online uh, uh, you know projects you should you can only work on them by using these $200 resources that you will be getting from the account Without those resources, you cannot complete the, the tests that you will be giving for each of those badges. Okay? Right. So, thank you. Thank you for your time. Uh, we will again, I think, meet tomorrow. The timings will be...
will be uh, will be letting you know and please try to spare at least 3 hours every day for to learn uh, more about this uh, aws platform thank you